Jingle bells, Dave here smells, and Christmas is upon That's us. That's nice, isn't it? At least one of us has made an effort. Yeah, I forgot my Christmas jumper. Um, it is a tricky time of year where you might have to get a gift for that cyclist in your life, and what to buy them can feel like a mince pie strewn minefield. But luckily, we're here yeah. with a cheese board of great gift ideas, giving you options from stocking fillers, easy stuff, through to big presents that will keep the Mocky 5 for, you know, most of the rest of the day. They're mince pies, by the way, just saying. Um, if you're a cyclist, let us know which of these you'd like to see Santa appear with. Right then, Dave, should we yeah. see what's first out of Santa's sack? Oh, I've got you the Look at this, Dexshell High Therm Pro oh. Socks, 40 pounds to you. Uh, Dexshell have been making waterproof socks and gloves for a decade, and these are warmest ones in the range. So these are like proper deep winter. You a um, waterproof sock wearer, Liam? You don't strike me no, as well. You no, know, funnily enough, I'm not, no. Great for the commute, and also really good for long Audax rides in the winter. I know you love an Audax ride, Liam. <laughs> yeah, funnily enough, another thing that I don't do. Keep your do. feet nice and dry. Water doesn't get in, they've got a nice Perel membrane in. Got a merino liner, so they're nice and... Uh, nice and cosy. Nice and cosy. And also, you can wrap a little bit of inner tube around the top of them to stop the water getting in if you want to. If you want the full Audax value. <laughs> I can't imagine what you lot do in a hedge. Right, next up, I'm going to have to go rooting All right, for this because I don't know if it's in order. This is the Lazine Pocket Torque Drive. 65 Ooh. quid for this, and can you guess what it is? Is it a torque drive? It's very you small. Know, funnily enough, it is. So this is a compact torque wrench. It comes in a really, really nice carry case, which I believe you can strap to the underside of your saddle yeah, looks like it. or to anything, really. Um, I think this is going to be brilliant for bike packing. This is also going to be brilliant if you're if you've got a, a small tool case that you need to fit something in. But that comes reassuringly heavy, isn't it? It is. It's very yeah. chunky. Yeah. Nice and nice and chunky. It's uh, it comes with all the bits that you need for a modern bike, and it covers you on the range of torque settings for a modern bike for for the littler bolts so, so for your handlebars or your seat post or pretty much stuff like yeah that, yeah two to six newton meters and you get hex bits of 2.5 uh three four five and then torx bits of t25 and t20 did you do you're absolutely correct really nicely made um and a very very clear click as well because that's one of the things i hate about some torque wrenches is that it's very vague when you get to the required torque this is very clear yeah great really so, compact really portable as well great one for if you're going on a holiday with your bike as well you need to build it back up when you reach the yes, destination yeah perfect one for a bike box i'd yeah, say absolutely right should we uh, move on to our next product Let's if you, if you can it. wrap that one back I'll do up that. there we it's go ju it's just down here i've got you a helmet oh lovely this is a vo from nutcase this is their commute helmet so this is 125 quid and as you can see, it's got many features. Well, let's see if I can work. Well, I can turn it on. That's a feature. Oh, well, there yes. we go, look. There you go. You found yeah. the main feature. So this is all about getting you a bit more seen in an urban environment. So the great thing that I think we both like about having helmet mounted lights is that they're up high, yeah. which means that they're a bit easier to see. Really spot. good for being seen through a line of traffic as well when you've yes. got like the, the yeah. visibility up high. So this is built with some big old air vents. I guess you can see from there actually that, well, I can see right across the top of your head, which is how it's designed. So it's designed to pull the air in at the front, yeah. swoosh it right over, your, over the top of your head. Yeah, and full 360 visibility from the lights as well. Yeah, very nice retention system at the back. You get uh, three hours of run time um, on the low setting, two hours charge time. It's a micro USB at the back. So it might look a bit strange to charge your helmet at your desk, but it can join a range of different things. Um, I think if you've got a commuter in your life, they're going to really, really like yeah, that. Yeah, it really comes good. with a really mips. nice micro adjust. Uh, yes, back retention stuff, and yeah, a MIPS liner. A MIPS liner as well, so a little bit more safety. And then one more great feature for glasses wearers is that there's an option for um, a visor. Oh, she's fit the visor yeah. to the front there. Oh, so nice. in rainy weather, you'd keep rain off your specs. Yeah. And, and even for someone, you know, that's not a glasses wearer, if you don't want to wear cycling glasses, that'd be perfect. How much for your nutcase VO helmet? 125 of your finest pounds, please. Oh, yes. 
Excellent. Let's put that turn off, shall I? Yeah. I'm down there. Save the battery. There we go. I've got a ride home. Okay, shall we move on? I think it's right at the top here. Yeah. Uh, there might even be one Ooh. for you in there as well. We might have one each. Yay. This is the Sportful Fiandra Pro jacket. It's £270. And it's a jacket for this kind of thing you like, isn't it? Oh. Jacket for racing in the worst conditions. Yeah, the Sportful Fiandre range is something that I've got a few items from, and it is really, really good yeah. stuff. Um, this is a really quite thin jacket, so it's it's perfect for those high intensity rides um, yeah. in the worst weather. Um, this has some optimal stitching, which actually does make it feel really, really good when you're on the bike. You know, you, it's not one that you feel so comfortable in when stood up, but once you get down on the bike, it is brilliant. Yeah, really um, good. You've and got a Polatec Neo Shell fabric. Yes. Which is really good. Yeah, waterproof, we, we really Windproof, like very breathable, very light. Um, we've got reflective transfers on the back as well, which is just a little bit of added visibility. Yeah. Um, and yeah, this has a full length zipper, so you can completely unzip. Yeah. You know, if you're going up a stupidly steep hill. And a really nice drop tail as well with a bit of silicon on to keep it in, in yeah. the right place as if, well. If you're like Jamie and you refuse to use mud guards throughout <laughs> the winter, which is just should be illegal in my book, um, it is gonna give your lower back and the top of your glutes a little bit of protection. Yeah. But a jacket that I really, really love with three big pockets on the back Always well. good to see three proper pockets yes. on the back of a jacket, isn't it? And nice perforated one, so if it is really, really wet, yeah. the water's gonna be... <laughs> it's not pooling no. around your energy bars. <laughs> exactly, which, excellent. When you've pulled a soggy banana out of your back pocket, you never wanna do it again. Brilliant. 270 quid for those, um, but if you're investing in a winter jacket, well worth it. Right, shall we move on? Because we've got, I've, I've seen what what's we got? in what this we got? Have you seen the amount of orange things in this bag? Would I've you not. like some velo ah, skin? Thank you very much. Well, then have some Ooh, more velo skin. Funnily enough. I'm and just... I'll have some velo skin. What we've got is the contents of the Ultimate Care Bundle uh, from Velo Skin, which is £105, but it gets you absolutely sorted. This is a British company and they make all of this in England from, I would like to point out, a sustainable supply chain. Soothing recovery. Gym. Very nice. Does that sound lovely? After, yeah. think you're, you're plowing through the Rafa Festive 500. Soothing recovery gel, very much needed. What else have I got? Moisturizer. Excellent wind battering your yeah, face salt in your face drying you out both of us probably need some moisturizer what have you got shave cream which i probably need less than you i i probably need a lot of that <laughs> right now and also post fuzz. shave lotion as well yes and you know when my razor is hacked through the yeah. forest that is my leg hair and right as now. well as the full chamois cream we've got 10 travel sachets here so they're you, really good if you're out on your Audax, you need to uh, oh. reapply after about 150k <laughs> just what you need in your Does saddlebag it, oh that's that's like finding uh, or in your bike box on your way to calpe yes or yeah Mallorca or wherever very nice if you're in the office and you've been chosen to buy that person that's a cyclist a gift done can't go wrong with chamois cream. They will, they will not be disappointed. Just don't think about what they're gonna do with it. Yes, don't, and don't ever ask to borrow some. No. <laughs> anyway, let's pop that down Fantastic. there. Fantastic. I've, I've got to clear out, they've, they've got oh, some, some bottles really nice well. bottles go. as well. Get those out. Yellow skin. You're gonna to have to go searching for this one because okay. this is a small one. This is the Tubalito S Turbo Road. 32 euro 90 for these. Um, and just take it off the packaging, well, feel how light that is. That is ridiculous, isn't it? The valve cap probably weighs the most. It's the size that. of a Chopper Chups lollipop. <laughs> Which is just the, <laughs> it's the scale that we go for. Absolutely. The, the point of these is that if you're a racer, these provide pretty low rolling resistance. If you're gonna use tubes, these are a lightweight option. But for those of us that maybe run butyl tubes on our training bike, these go in your saddlebag and they take up so little space and also ensure that your bike saddlebag stays quite light. Yeah, also if you run tubeless, but you like to keep a tube just in case you get a hole in your, in your tire that you can't fix. Yes. Really, really small and compact solution for keeping a tube with you at all times. Yeah, absolutely. Um, these are made of PU, 
What are they? Sorry. What are those letters again? TPU. TPU. Yes. Thank you very much. So that's the thermoplastic urethane. You're great. You're good at this. Have, have I got that right? No. no. Oh. Thermoplastic polyurethane. Ah, oh, I was I was so close. Um, and it is the lightest and smallest bike tube worldwide, weighing in at just 24 grams. Now, the final thing to mention with these is that they are disc brake only, so rim brake users. Sorry, rim brake guys. Not for you. Uh, next up, Dave, mm. Specialized Torch 1.0 shoes. You like shoes? I love shoes. Um, I am, shoes are a girl's best friend. Um, 99 pounds, those as well. Do you like moss green shoes? Not personally, but there are 10 colours available, oh, thankfully. Um, so if these are for you, that's absolutely fine. They're just... Shoes are white in my book. Um, what we have here is a body geometry design throughout. So the footbeds, the um, sole, and then that really... It kicks your foot just out like that. Uh -huh. Just a little bit. Not as much as I've shown there. But Specialized says that that's really good for ankle hip and knee alignment so it keeps everything nice and straight and that should prevent injuries if they work for you they really work and I've... boost power yes i've got the s works version Such as of these it is claimed and, and anyway my power has been boosted very good what we have here up the rest of the shoe is a boa li6 dial which provides kind of even tension across the foot um monkeys come to join us that's nice shoe monk monkey will start scratching everything um and then at the bottom they've got a velcro closure for the toe box yeah and nylon composite sole a uh, good heel bumper and toe bumper there to stop it getting scratched yeah. up Stiff really enough. good really good build for a 99 pound shoe yes absolutely um three bolt cleat pattern so yeah all the major road cleats. all the major road cleats right we get rid of those we'll probably get rid of you as well monk actually i think Aww. Oh, maybe you can just sit there. You, you can stay there. You um, sit there. What we've got next is the thing beside you. Now, this might be a bit small for you, Dave. It looks like it might. I might struggle. Yes. Yeah. This is the Vetus Energy 24 Youth. Um, if you've got a budding racer, um, this is pretty much perfect because it's a gravel and road bike. 600 quid. We've got disc brakes. We've got Shimano gears. Um, you really are sorted with this bike looks really good actually and great for like youth cyclocross as well which is you know, yes. a big thing yeah um, lots of good cyclocross races going on for for the kids out there yeah absolutely and cyclocross is where you can learn all of your skills i've raced cyclocross in the vitas energy not this one really yes <laughs> I'd a larger pay, one i would pay to see you race also i did that. the dirty reaver on one really yes i did very good bikes really well made and this looks like an excellent start a bike for racing you know at, at that level aluminium frame on that one um aluminium finishing kits really solid and it's not just this bike of course Vitas have got a whole range covering years three up so they've got balanced bikes trail ready hardtails cyclocross bikes all sorts and loads of tech coming over from their award-winning adult bike range really good stuff through axles front and rear there as well yeah unusual for a kid's bike a bit more future-proofed as well yeah absolutely and really nice narrow bars, short throw levers as well. Really set up for a younger rider, Excellent. not just a, a shrunk men's bike. Yeah. Maybe you could throw a spotlight on this bike using something else that we've got in our bag. No, what, what about that? What I'll do is I'll provide the star that guided the three wise men <laughs> because this is an exposure Strada SB Mark 11. Um, it is 335 quid and it is bright. Yes, it is. Very bright. Um, this has a minimum burn time on the highest powered setting of two hours, uh, which for most road rides after work these days, that's going to be just enough, I would say. But it's got a ton of settings. Yeah, loads of different settings. It's got seven different uh, sets of settings. Each of those have got two or three settings in them. So, yeah. you know, you're looking at about 20 different settings you can have in there. Um, very good memory function as well. So if you found your perfect setting, don't worry, you're not going to have to scroll through 20 settings. It just comes on to the one you want. Yeah. And a lot of road lights uh, in the UK have a round beam, but the Strada range from exposure, more of a flattened beam. So really yes. good for road riding. They don't dazzle oncoming drivers as much. 
Exposure also does light with an active technology, which dims the yes. beam when oncoming traffic's coming, which yeah. is really good. And then another feature that I really like, because I do most of my riding uh, during the daylight hours, this has um, Daybright, which is a bespoke pulse pattern designed for daylight use, uh, which is more conspicuous than a regular pulse and visible <laughs> from over a kilometre away. Very <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is bright. Next up is a product that we know a lot about because we've both used it extensively. Ah, I recognize that box. It's a hammerhead, the Karoo 2 to be specific. Um, now, I really like this because they're constantly, and I mean constantly, releasing updates for this thing. So one of my favorite features that they brought out this year was the climbing feature. Yeah, really which, good you know, just helps you pace a climb so, so well. Um, and also the climbing feature now works even if you're not following a route. So it, it just does, pick, yeah. pick the hills along the way and tell you uh, what's going on. Screen's really good. The navigation is really good as well. Navigation is absolutely yeah. spot on. Uh, it's compatible with radar devices now as well. So you can get, uh, you can see what's coming up behind you. I've got yep. a machine light that I'm testing with this. It works really well. And also they've just changed the design slightly so that the uh, USB cover is now captive. So it doesn't fall on the floor every time you try and charge it. That's, which is great. That's quite good. <laughs> um, these are really easy to use with your regular training things like Strava, Training Peaks, Canoe. Canoe as well yeah so yeah if if you're feeling generous because this is 359 quid if they're a bit of a techie cyclist they might really really love this yeah can't go wrong i'll have that back oh, in the box oh, thank box, you so. god okay. i try and keep the screen protector nice um moving on we've got our stolen goat Welcome well, to the Stolen Goat merch, section. But yeah. it's uh, our clothing sponsor, Stolen Goat, makes some really, really right. good stuff. Here this is go. the winter jacket, and this is nice and yeah. colourful. So this is the Fluid Alpine jacket, which is 160 quid. I wore this out the other day, actually, uh, which is why it's a little bit creased. And <laughs> it is brilliant, although it wasn't cold enough. It was about eight degrees out, and yeah. this was like, oh, it's pretty sweaty. And it's a really, really warm jacket. It's, yeah. got, a, it's got a really good waterproof outer mm. and a rebay liner so it stays really nice and warm even when it is a bit damp three, three proper yes. big pockets at the back which is great for a jacket also it's got a zip stash pocket that's waterproof it's got a nice silicon gripper at the bottom to keep it like a really wide one to keep it in place so it doesn't ride up and your bum get wet and it's also got some nice uh, reflective detailing on it as well keep you safe and also it's really nice and bright for those gloomy days i was gonna say i'm a big fan of that yeah. kind of color scheme um okay so if you want to talk about bright jackets mm -hmm. this is the one i've been wearing well pretty much every day this week uh this is the adventure down jacket it's like one of those puffer jackets and it's absolutely brilliant in my eyes because i walked home the other night in the <laughs> biblical rain and i I don't know if they're saying this is waterproof, but it is certainly very, very water resistant. It's got nice stretchy side panels, which mm. you don't often get on a, on a down jacket. The sleeves are removable, so you can make it into a gilet. See, that's one feature that I have used because I needed to go out in um, a proper waterproof with a hood. So I zipped off the sleeves, wore it as a gilet underneath my rain jacket. Yeah. And then it was warm and Excellent. dry which was very, very nice. Packs down pretty small as well, because it's down. It does, um, big pockets. There's also a big old pocket in the back, which you can, you know, I, I'm not really sure what you're meant to get well, in there. Well, it's good for riding when you stick your phone in there. Ah, well, personally, I was thinking that's about garlic bread size, garlic baguette, <laughs> you know. That's... You know what else that's good for? Ordax. Ordax, Packs down yeah. small, stick it in your saddlebag, and then you can go for sleep in a hedge. You'll be nice and toasty. Has this been a Christmas gift guide for the Ordaxes? <laughs> I'm not sure. So another product that we've both used quite a lot to map rides is Komoot. Yep. Um, so I really find it useful for mapping those off-road rides because I've been exploring my local area. I've been doing the traditional gravel thing of just going wherever it says to go. Yep. Um, 30 quid for world map. Yeah, 29.99 for all of the world. I mean, you can start using it for free. So mm. you can have your local area for free, but the best deal is 29.99 for all of the world maps uh, forever. And then you can start planning uh, routes in road rides, gravel rides, hiking. Mm. Um, you can get your maps offline, so you don't need to have signal to, to follow a route on your phone, for example, which is really good. 
And then on top of that, there's another level that you can get into, which is Commute Premium. And that gives you things like live tracking. You can do, uh, you can plan multi-day um, adventures. You can make your own collections of rides. You can get weather forecasts for your rides. If you tell Commute when it's going to be, then it'll tell you what the weather's going to be like. Lots of like really mm. cool features on top of the, the normal stuff that you get. I mean, the, the feature that I've found most useful for planning my rides, especially the off-road stuff, round does it's a bit hit and miss, isn't it? Just a little, off-road. yes. Um, so the trail view thing uh, where users upload pictures, I've actually started uploading pictures because I know how helpful it is yeah. to kind of have a visual representation. Because sometimes you're thinking, oh, that looks like a bridal track, but you get there and it's like, okay, this would be hard for an enduro bike. Yeah, well, I mean, we've all been there, haven't we, where we go, well, that looks like a nice bridal path and it ends up just being a ploughed field. Yes. So the trail view is really useful. Uh, it's all user-contributed stuff. It's uh, really one to just try out because you can use it for free which is really nice. And saving, well, I think saving the saving best to last. It's the Road CC merch, of course it is. Look at this beauty. You seem to have picked out a child's one there. What's going it's on? Because it's mine. Um, <laughs> we have a sort of a little bit of a Breton stripe, going yeah. on, an inspired design. Road.cc forward slash kit. Um, there are so many pieces, aren't there? Yeah. Get yourself in the merch, that's what we say. It's really good quality, all made by Stolen Goat, uh, and makes a nice blanket for a cat if you've also got one of those. Yes, perfect. Well, Dave, thank you very much for helping me go through um, all of these gifts. I promise now we can actually eat those mince pies. Excellent. Let us know in the comments below which of these lovely gifts you like most for Christmas. And then if you are yourself heading out this winter, maybe for the Rafa Festive 500, you're gonna to want to get yourself dressed properly because yeah. otherwise you're gonna be quite uncomfortable. Luckily, we've done a great video with Costelli telling you how to get layered up for the coldest conditions. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.